so we got a lot planned for today. We have some great speakers, some performances. Uh, we're going to have some organizations speak. We also have some people coming out to provide some remarks, some very special people as well. So it's going to be a really good time. Uh, we want to, first of all, thank our host, One Art. We want to thank our host, One Art. Can you stand there for being here today, y'all? Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. We also want to thank, uh, as we always say, give the drummer some. Give it up, y'all, five drummers, y'all. And so we want to make sure that we always are in accordance. I know that we got some people coming to get some waters. We're going to have some food coming as well in a little bit. And so we're really going to have a good time, but more importantly, we're going to have a righteous time, right? We're going to have a powerful time. We're going to have an empowering time. We're going to have an inspiring time. We're going to have a time where we want to make sure that we can come together, meet new people from other cities, meet new people who are doing great work around everything from police abolition to gentrification to organizing to leadership development to mental health. We're covering all these different backgrounds today because these are all the issues that Mumia often talks about right in his commentary. Is that right? Is that right? So we're going to make sure that we can bring the house down. We got some prints on uh, really good people coming. Should be some good weather. And the beautiful thing about it is, y'all, tomorrow is Mumia's birthday, y'all. So we know that Mumia turns 69 years of age tomorrow, right? 69 years of age. And just a week ago, we were checking the uh, weather and they called for rain today. But I don't know about you, Baba, but I'm looking up in the sky. I see nothing but blue skies and, and sun. So that tells me that sometimes when you're doing good work, we receive those blessings from the universe. Is that right? We receive all those blessings from the universe. So we thank uh, everybody again for being here, for traveling long, and those who travel just even short to be here today. Um, to get started, man, it's, it's real important. You know, Mumia Abu Jamal, we've been waging this war now since December 9th of 81. And ever since his conviction in July of 82. And so, you know, I'm talking about somebody who's been locked up now in the cages for almost 42 years of age. In fact, he's been locked up in a cage longer than some of us have been alive. And so the reality of it is that we take it in, in that consideration, how long he's been imprisoned. Like he always says, this isn't the only issue of Mumia Abu Jamal, but this is the issue of all political prisoners and all prisoners that need to come home. Is that right? Is that right? That's right, that's right, that's right. And so we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to be done. Uh, we just heard the news, obviously, about a month ago that Judge Lucretia Clemens chose to dismiss the opportunity for a new trial. And we waged a war against not only her, but against the system uh, by bringing in new information and sharing information about all the evidence. And still, the state did what the state always does. But that doesn't kill our spirit. Like I always say, a setback is a setup for a comeback. Is that right? So we're going to come back more fired up. We're going to come back with our fists held high. We're going to come back with our chest out. We're going to make sure that we're all fired up, bringing the new people, bringing the new organizers, and making sure, making sure, making sure that our brother Mumia Abu Jamal can come home and come home sooner than it is. Uh, we want to make sure that he can be free, that he can walk the streets of Philadelphia with his loved ones, with his family members, with his comrades. Is that right? Is that the goal? Can you see it? 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 See, sometimes we gotta actually envision things for them to become manifest, right? We gotta dream these things for them to come to become manifest. We gotta see these things. We gotta make those vision boards. We gotta put those prayers out, those meditations out, right? We gotta sit still and be in meditation with the with one with nature and say, what can we do today? What can I do more today that I didn't do yesterday that will be towards the, contrib the contribution of freeing Mumia Abu Jamal? We all have to take that self-assessment, right? We all gotta take that self-criticism. We gotta say, what can I do? Can I share that flyer? Can I get that flyer out to somebody new? Can I let my mom or dad or parents or caretakers know what's going on? Can I alert my neighbor to what's going on, right? It's the small things, family. As we build community, we'll build an opportunity for us to free 
Mumia Bujma. Give thanks for the water, y'all. Give it up, y'all, for the water coming in, y'all. We got water coming in. We got water coming in. We know it's a little bit warm today, but we got water coming in. We want to make sure that everybody's taken care of, family. We want to make sure everybody's taken care of. All right? And so with that being said, you know, one thing that I want to do is, if I can have one of those waters, once y'all open it up, I want to, if I can have one of those waters for a libation, I want to actually bring up my, my brother spirit child, if you don't mind, brother spirit child, for a libation, family. And we're going to we're gonna do a libation. I think it's very, very important for us to always do what we can to acknowledge the ancestors and those that came before us and all and everything that we do. It's an opportunity for us to engage those who came before us and an opportunity for us to engage those who will give us strength. All right, cool. We got the drums, we got the people, we got the heartbeat. Um, so with respect to uh, the elders, if I could proceed with the libations, because I know I'm not the oldest here, if that's all right. See some head nods, that's cool. All right, so thank you. Um, so my name is Spirit Child, I'm from New York, and um, some of you know, may know, may not know, I feel like most people know what libations is. It's not a uh, religious doctrine, it is a spiritual connection to the higher force. It is something that we must do each and every day to respect our ancestors, our freedom fighters, those who came before us. It is very personal to your heart, to your God, whatever your God, whomever your God may be. I practice with Yoruba, Santeria. So some of these words may be familiar to you, they may not, but recognize and resonate with them as we connect to the higher force. Again, however you may employ that higher force. We have incense burning, that's good. And we have the water to keep the momentum and the vibes turning. My fede fun chango, my fede fun o bailawo, todos los arishas, o chun, o gum, yemaya, o ya, O Batala, Elegua, and all the Orishas, gods, goddesses that walk with us, protect us each and every way. We start with that, and then you can say the name of your ancestor, someone who was dear to you, a great grandma, a grandma, someone who's no longer living, maybe a freedom fighter. Call that name out, and we will all say Ache or Presente to let them know that we are here in the building and we are fighting for freedom continuously as a legacy continues, right? So, Fred Ho! There you go, Ache! Ache!
chill. So we're gonna say this last drop for all the ancestors that we did not call. We know you walk with us, work with us, help us for liberation each and every day to make our way possible. If it wasn't for you all, we would not be here. Respect, love the Pachamama, the earth, always respect her. Respect for what we're fighting for. Give back the energy to what we're fighting for. We are here with the drums, the heartbeat, Africa, liberation, our people. Big, big, ah, Thank y'all. Philadelphia called the Philadelphia Community Bail Fund, a very, very, very important space. We have our comrades who are gonna share not only about PPBF, but also more importantly about the upcoming Mama's Day bailout. Give it up for Candace, y'all. Hello, hi, I'm Candace McKinley. I'm with the Philadelphia Community Bail Fund. Um, we got started back in 2017, a bunch of organizers in Philly, raising money to free black mothers in time for Mama's Day. Um, there's a bunch of us, I think Gay was part of that circle in the early days as well. And um, we were able to free 13 women that year. We raised $50,000 and we decided to stay together and become a bell from because we knew this was a problem plaguing our community. Like you all know, they use mass incarceration um, to silence dissent, like we see with like Mumia, like we see her by the ant. They use it to destabilize our communities, our families, um, to keep us oppressed and to keep us poor. Um, so since that day we were founded in 2017, we've bailed out over 895 people. Um, but we've posted a, about $7 million in bail. Um, because we're seeing some people who are held for as low as $30. Not as many nowadays, but we've gotten requests from people who are held on $3 million or more. We can't help them out, unfortunately, because we don't have it like that, but we've posted bills as high as $100,000 to post when we've had the ability to pay. And so we're trying to like keep freeing as many of our people as possible. Um, we've been focusing on people who have medical emergencies and health conditions. Like, again, we see with like Mumia, what he's suffering. There's a lot of people in our local Philadelphia prisons who are suffering from things like that and not getting care. People who have cancer, pregnant mothers, um, all types of things that just break your heart. Um, every day I go in the jails and meet these people. And so we're trying to raise money to bring them home. But right now we're starting our um, 2023 Black Mamas Bailout, which is what we were founded on. Um, last year, we were able to free 42 black women and caregivers. Um, we spent over $813,000 in bail. Um, so we are trying to um, bring as many people at home as possible this year again. We're bailing out all black women, that includes cis, trans, um, GNC people, um, and black caregivers, so custodial fathers, people who are taking care of elderly, disabled, or ill loved ones are also eligible for this bailout. So I have flyers here. I'm gonna put them around and um, put them up in um, the shops around here where it has a QR C code that you can go to our website to donate and to refer someone who qualifies for our, our black mama's bailout. Um, we're interviewing people now. We're raising money now. As of this morning, we had $10,000 in the door. Our goal by Mother's Day is to raise $150,000. We do have a seed money from the National Bailout Collective, which is a group of black-led um, organizers who are doing this nationwide to get us started. But we would like to raise more money because we know it's going to take some money to bring our people home. So um, you can go to phillybailout.org to both refer a person to learn more and to donate money. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, let's continue to get our people free. All right, all right, please support the work of the Philadelphia Community Bail Fund. Like Candace said, they are bailing folks out day in and day out, week in and week out here in Philadelphia. We know that most folks who are locked up in these jails are only there because they couldn't pay their bail. So please do what you can to support the work of the Philadelphia Community Bail Fund. 
Our next speaker, by the way, real quick, we also have food coming soon. So we got Mama Atiola is going to be setting up right here by the kitchen. So you'll be able to get some Mama Atiola's, some food here. And also, one of the things that we're going to do this time for this birthday, remember, it's still a birthday celebration for Mumia Abu Jamal. So we want to send letters of support and well wishes to Mumia. So right here at this table, we have some paper, we have some markers, and some colored pencils. Feel free to go over here, take some paper, make it artful, make it colorful, but make your own piece of paper and art towards Mumia Abu Jamal, and we're gonna make sure that it actually gets to him. So again, we have colored pencils, we got some pens and paper. Make your own wishes, it'll be right there, come on through. We'll make sure that it all gets to Mumia Abu Jamal. Uh, with that being said, family, what I want to do is I want to bring up somebody who's been also near and dear to us and supporting Mumia uh, since the beginning as well. He came up here, we saw him yesterday. If you were out at the Yahoo uh, uh, event yesterday out at Clark Park, how many of y'all was there, yo? Raise your hand, yo. I know I was there. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. They do this monthly, and shout out to Comrade Tiffany, who's always on the front lines. Shout out to Brother Ikemba. Shout out to all the members of the Yuru movement here in Philadelphia and around the world, uh, APSP, for organizing. And so what we want to do is, we want to bring up uh, Chairman, Chairman Omali Ishitella to provide a good word, family. So give it up for him, y'all. First of all, I'd like to express my most profound appreciation for giving me this opportunity to come out and address the birthday of Mumia Abu Jamal. I don't think there's anything more important that anybody could do right now other than breaking them out of that, that hell hole that they've locked them in. Uh, I think that it's extremely important that we are here and remembering that Mumia was a very young person when he first got involved in this struggle uh, for the liberation of our people, for the destruction of a social system that rests upon a foundation of slavery and colonialism, genocide. They've got Mumia locked up at the very same time they're responsible for doing everything, destroying the planet Earth itself. They are imposing various forms of oppression and exploitation all around the world. There are people right now, even in Afghanistan, where they lost the war, where they determined to starve the people through sanctions and things like that. They're initiating bombings and terroristic attacks in Afghanistan where they lost the war. They are, they are viciously oppressing uh, even today, people in Venezuela, they are trying to isolate Cuba and maintain its, uh, its uh, estrangement from the world economy so that the people there will starve. The objective is to punish the oppressed who will stand up and try to end that oppression, end that exploitation. That's why we're here talking about Mumia today, because Mumia has always stood up to end this oppression, end this exploitation. For me, as somebody who should be rewarded, who should be given awards and what have you. <laughs> Yet the criminals who are responsible for the oppression of most of the people on this earth are the ones who are awarded, the ones who are saluted. But we are not isolated. It's not we who are isolated. It's a dying social system. Anybody who can see anything that's happening around the world can see that this system is in a horrible state of crisis. It should never recover from this crisis. They can't do enough to punish Mamiya and other people who are soldiers in the war to free humanity from oppression and exploitation. What a noble task Mamiya has been involved in. In the oppression, in the exploitation, in the separation of the peoples on this planet who just want to be free. Mamiya's, Mamiya's crime is struggling for the happiness and the return of the resources that have been taken from Africa, 
African people and the oppressed of the world. That's his crime. And that's something that we understand. So I, I really want to express my appreciation for being able to be here with you. See Sister Pam Africa, Uhuru Pam. Uh, see the members of the People's Organization for Progress who've always been there on the front line. See soldiers from the Uhuru movement and others of you. People walking around talking about free Asada. Asada is welcome here. These are the people who are heroic forces who we keep in our memory, who we hold high. We hold Mumia high. They can't do enough to crush the memory of Mumia. We salute his birthday. We salute Mumia. We say, free Mumia now. Let him out of that hell hole. Put the criminals in prison and free the freedom fighters. So I want to express my appreciation. I say, Uhuru. Uhuru is Swahili for freedom. We say Uhuru because we think that freedom is something that should be on the minds of African people 24 hours a day. And we're living in a country and a world that is determined to keep the people locked up, to keep the people oppressed. And Mumia is one of those forces that we have to say, free Mumia, or the sky is the limit. Uhuru. Give it up again, y'all, for Chairman Amali. You should tell it, y'all. And so, as you already know, the work is, is so important as we continue to build and continue to organize and mobilize around this city and what we're trying to do. Um, what I want to do is this. Again, I want to highlight the fact that we're making these birthday cards for Mumia Abu Jamal. So we have a little table right here. We have some paper, some markers, some colored pens. Please make those cards because that's going to be for Mumia Abu Jamal. We're going to make sure that it gets to him. All right. Definitely for the young people in the room as well. Please utilize that as well. We have our food being set up in the back as well. So that'll be available very, very, very shortly. Uh, what I want to do actually is bring up because, you know, as a, in a perfect segue, the Malcolm X grassroots movement has done some significant work over the years. Is that right, MXGM? Free the land? Free the land? Free the land? Free the land? And so when we think back about the historic work of the Malcolm X grassroots movement, uh, the work to free all political prisoners, the work of Jericho, the work that is so important and needed right now in this time, uh, we thought it only fitting to include members of the MXGM to come on out and be a part of this conversation and to share their work and insight when it comes to moving me, Abu Jamal, what it's meant for all of us. So that being said, I want to bring up my brother who's a, a good brother of ours, a good brother of yours. Give it up, y'all, for Brother Karanger, y'all. MXGM, NYC. Free the land. Free the land. Free the land. All right, peace, y'all. My name is Karanja K. Carroll. I'm a member of the New York chapter of the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. I'm also on the National Coordinating Committee, and I'm here to let y'all know that we want to see Mumia free. Can I say that again? We want to see Mumia free. We, we, we need to understand the incarceration of Mumia within a historical context. Obviously, we know that Mumia is a victim of COINTELPRO, but we have to recognize that the continued incarceration of political activists is what we're dealing with right now. We just have Baba Om Om Omali Eshetela up here. We realize that the persecution, indictment, and all that foolishness comes out of a historical context. We need to make the connections. Okay, when you deal with the with the arrest of the, the stop city for uh, stop cop city folks in Atlanta, that's the connection. When you deal with the development of a, of, of an idea known as a black identity extremist, that's the connection. That is, we go from the current the, the the old school political prisoners to these contemporary political prisoners. But we gotta understand the the history. We have to understand that Mumia is connected to all of them, and our fight to free Mumia is connected to the same fight to free Edwin Dexter, 
It's connected to free the same fight. It's the same fight to free Imam Amil, Jamil Alameen, to free all of these political prisoners. And we can go on and on, but the idea is to understand the connections so that we fight the free Mumia, we fight to make sure that Omar, Omar, Omar Ali Yeshitella is not locked up, and we fight to get those folks and stop Cop City out. We continue to fight. Zora Neale Hurston, you know, I'm going to give you a quick quote from Zora Neale, and then I'm going to get off this stage. But I uh, tweeted this out this morning, and I was like, you know, this is clearly relevant to what I'm about to, what we're about to talk about. Give me a, two seconds. Zora said, if you are silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it. Are y'all with me? She said that if you are silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say that you enjoyed it. We're not going to be silent. We're going to resist and we're going to have our voices heard. Free the land, people. Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. They've been doing some phenomenal work over the years, family. If I could have everybody, um, if you can, if you can stand, can you please stand real quick if you're able to? If you're able to stand, that'd be wonderful. If you can. If you cannot, don't worry about it, but if you can, that'd be wonderful. So just a few short months ago, we know that we lost Mama Wadia. And we know what Mama Wadia means to all of us. And so I really wanted to make sure that everybody could stand. If you, if you can stand, please stand. Because we want to take in the energy of Mama Wadia, Jamal, what she meant when it comes to speaking to a revolutionary love. I'm going to say it again, a revolutionary love. We saw so many photos of Mumia and Mama Wadia through the years and what she's meant to this movement and what the comrade and the elder has meant as a source of light and as a source of laughter and joy for all of us. So we want to take a quick moment silence as a family today right now, giving all of our energy and hearts to the family for Mama Wadia Jamal. Thank you so much for your family. With that being said, we actually want to bring up a, a very special guest. We want to bring up Mama Wadia's son, Issa, to provide a few words, y'all. Give it up for Brother Issa, y'all. Give it up for him, y'all. Give it up for him, y'all. Show him love. Show him all your 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 love. Give him some light. 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 Hello, everyone. I didn't have plans on speaking today. I just wanted to come, as always, Losing my mother was the hardest pill that I could ever swallow. Me and my sisters, my brothers, my, my nieces, my nephews, everybody. And to know the love that she had for Mumia for over 40 years. And it just didn't, what happened to Mumia just didn't affect Mumia, it affect our lives also. Because I was, when all this happened, cops followed me to school when I was a young kid. It wasn't okay for kids to have dreadlocks. You know, they, they people laughed. Oh, your mom got dreadlocks. Now some of these same people got dreads. You know, and I went to see Mumia the day after my mother died. I mean, not the day after she died, but 
day after her birthday on April 6th. And we talked and he said, son, I need to talk to you man to man, face to face. And the hurt in that man's eyes says everything to me. What dear meant the world to, man, I, I, my mom and, and my aunt Pam, man, I've never seen two stronger women in my life. And I want to thank, I, 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 I want to thank everyone for always supporting the movement and the rights for all the injustice in the world that's going on. I love every last one of y'all. Thank y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Can, can we say one thing? When my sister was rapping, and, and she made trap doors for Mumia. In the crowd, we used to say, Free Mumia. Free Mumia. We love Wadia. We love Wadia. Free Mumia. We love Wadia. Peace and love, everyone. Yes, yes. Powerful, powerful, powerful time, y'all. Powerful, powerful time. It's just great sometimes to be a community, right? Yeah. It's just great to be able to know that you're gonna lean on the person next to you. Is that right? Yeah. There's something about being a comrade, something about being a brother, a sister, a family member, a sibling to people in this movement, in this struggle that is so empowering and so inspiring. Is that right? Yeah. So, you know, I was, I was speaking with um, Dr. Suzanne earlier. And she was saying that it's important that we have a speaker that's here today. And, uh, you know, some of the speakers that come, we have so many brilliant speakers and brilliant minds. And if you can, I want to make sure that we bring somebody up, somebody who's near to us, somebody, um, you know, Mr. Stell has been really on the front lines of organizing for a long time, family. And so it's very, very important that we have these long distance revolutionaries. People have been on the front line for so long. Come this way, come this way if you can. Come this way, thank you. Yes. Um, the thicket um, are able to share the story and share the, and share the good news of the work. Does that make sense, y'all? Does that make sense, y'all? And so, we're gonna be talking about, after this part, we're gonna talk about um, a project that's also dear to us about decolonizing Philly after this, all right? And so that's coming up soon. But give it up, y'all, for the show, y'all. Thank you, my brother. Buenas tardes, familia. Good afternoon, my family. My name is Estela Vasquez. I was born in the Dominican Republic. We share the same island with Haiti. Tomorrow is Mumia's birthday, but also is the anniversary of this important event in my country. We rose in a popular rebellion on April 24, 1965, to remove a military government imposed by the United States. And you know what happened? The then president of the United States, his name was Lyndon B. Johnson, went to the United States Congress and claimed that 55 you hear the name, the number? 55 communists were in control of the uprising. And they landed 42,000 Marines in my country to replace the rebellion. And I bring that historical example because I want to share with you that the struggle to free Mumia is the struggle for liberation for the people of Latin America and the Caribbean. The struggle to free Mumia 
is the struggle for the liberation of the people of Africa. The struggle to free Mumia is the struggle for liberation of oppressed people all over the world. And it's the struggle for the liberation of us right here in the belly of the beast inside the United States. It's also the struggle for all our political prisoners. And I want to raise, along with Brother Mumia, the name of a, com a comrade that is still in pressure, Leonard, Leonard Peltier, a Native American prisoner that is now, along with Mumia, some of the oldest political prisoners in this country, if not in the world. So I want to bring a message of solidarity from my community, from the other oppressed people inside the belly of the beast, that we need to continue the struggle. We need to teach our children. We need to mobilize our community, and we need to continue to fight until we free them all. Free them all. Free them all. Free Mumia. Free Mumia. Free Mumia. Power to the people. Thank you, thank you. Give it up again, y'all. Again, long, thick revolutionaries, y'all. And it's important to understand also the international part of this conversation, right? You know, so we've had so many, so much support over the years. My family in Palestine, our family in Mexico, our family in uh, France and Germany and throughout the world. Uh, on the continent, they just uh, shut down the uh, ports uh, right there in South, South Africa about a month and a half ago. So we're getting solidarity from all around the world when it comes to the work of Free Mumia Abu Jamal. Is that right? Fist up. Fist up. Fist up. That's right. And so another uh, key commentary that Mumia often talks about is the work to end the land grab, uh, to end the gentrification going on, not only in Philadelphia, but really around the country, right? Is it time to end gentrification? Yeah. I said it's time to end gentrification. Yeah. You know, and there's a project going on and it's so important to acknowledge those young people who are also on the front lines. And so when I first found out about Quiche and the work that they're doing to, as they say, decolonize Philly, I was so inspired by their work. So give it up, y'all. Quiche, decolonize Philly, y'all. Give it up for them, y'all, as they come up. Y'all gotta support our young people, y'all, so give them some love, y'all, all right? Give them some light. Peace, everyone. My name is Keish, and I'm the founder of Decolonized Philly. I'm not gonna lie, public speaking is not my thing, and I think um, being, affected, being affected by gun violence and gentrification, I'm really numb, and I feel like sometimes that can like um, really affect like my voice and how I speak up. Um, two weeks after my friend was shot and killed, a bullet came through my window um, and like missed me by an inch. And at the same time, I grew up with my mom never um, having shelter. So I was thinking like, out of all these issues, colonialism really is that binding factor that's affecting everybody, whether it's gun violence or um, gentrification. Um, <laughs> But I would say we are really in a state of emergency. Black and brown people in every hood in America is either being shot or pushed out of our communities. And um, we are really at, at war. And I um, really like to think about it, like to, go, to fight for human rights really is to go to war with the country. And, and I think it's, it's really um, a mind thing where it's like we have to really realize that we're at war. Um, and so that's why I created Decolonize Philly to bring together all of the groups around the city to stand on one um, accord. And so y'all can check us out on Instagram at Decolonize Philly or um, come to me after I speak. But um, not only is our communities dying, but our earth is also dying. And um, yeah, so thank y'all for listening to me. I really appreciate this. And Brother Gabe, appreciate it. <laughs> Give
Give it up again, y'all, for Keith, y'all. Show him some love. See, people, see, some folks have been speaking for so long, you forget how it is to be in front of a crowd. Because some of y'all have been speaking for a long time, but you forget that the work that Keisha's doing is so profound. I see them in the street all the time. They're in communities, talking to neighbors, talking to residents. See, we want to do all the work that's in the streets, which is all great work, right? But what Keisha's doing is talking to folks block to block, neighbor to neighbor. That's some real work, too. Is that right? Is that right? They are mobilizing communities here in Philadelphia around gentrification and land grab and bringing in new folks as well on that same mission. So please support them um, as they continue their work. Um, I want to bring up uh, somebody who's been dead to us as well with this movement before we take a, a little quick break to, for us to mix and mingle. Teresa Schultz has been, give it up for Teresa Schultz, and first of all, since the beginning, somebody's been so critical towards our movement. And the work, come around here, Teresa, yeah. Obviously, we know that we work to free Maroon. Oh, yeah. Right? Is that right? We work to free Maroon? Yeah. And so we say consistently, we say rest in power. Um, but more importantly, we understand Teresa's been on the front lines of this work for a long, long time. And so we want to give thanks and allow Sister Teresa to provide a few remarks, y'all. Give it up for Teresa Schultz. Peace, everyone. We're here for one thing, and that's to free Mamiya. Free Mamiya. And today, with that being said, I don't want to bog y'all down, but you know it takes money for freedom. Uh, we're all here to support. We do have a table, and there are other vendors here that need to be supported. Because... I'm at a place where, and I know you are too because you're here. I'm not fearing anyone. I'm not fearing that judge because you don't have no control over, over us. Because if, no, when we get out there and we get in position to stop her and make her turn around and make all the judges in the judicial system that is against us acknowledge us. If we can free our political prisoners, we free Maroon, we can free all our political prisoners. Free Kamal Siddiqui, our prisoners. We, you know, we can't just say free them. We got to march, and like the sister said, we are at war. We're at war, and us people here, we get it. We, but we got to get others out there. It's too many of our people who are in this war too and don't even realize it. So with that being said, money's raised. So get ready, cause financially, yeah, I'm unstable. But when I'm at these events, you gotta acknowledge the vendors and uh, 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 spend, open up your pocket. Cause what we're doing over here at this table is donating all monies to Mamiya and the sister, she may not acknowledge or accept the monies, but to one love also. This space here, but monies will go to Mamiya. Everything that you spend over here at that table with that blue umbrella. But I love you. I couldn't have got Maroon out alone. It took everyone that's here to get him out. There was no way we could have done it alone. And don't let this judicial system fool you. We can beat it. Peace, everyone. Yes, yes, please support the vendors if you can. So we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick, about 10 minute break. So you can get food in the back. You can see the vendors here. You can see all the panty information. Meet a new friend. Make a card, a happy birthday card for Mumia Abu Jamal. Please don't leave though. We also have merch in the back, free ant merch and free Mumia merch. So we're gonna plug in our phone, come back in like 10 minutes, okay? Free them all? Free them all? Free them all? All right, let's get some food, support the vendors, all right? What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? Yes, we're here to free Mumia Abu Jamal, y'all. Give it up for yourselves for being here today in this lovely day. Make some noise, make some noise, make some noise, y'all. 
I want to give a quick announcement. So we got shout out to um, uh, Ms. Geneva Butts, Alice Seller, and VJ for giving your uh, contributions towards the struggle. We wanted to announce y'all, announce your name, give thanks for supporting this cause, y'all. Once again, Alice Seller, VJ, Geneva Butts, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting y'all. We wanted to announce that from the stage, y'all. So give it up for yourselves. Uh, with that being said, can everybody hear my voice, right? Everybody can hear my voice? Yeah. So when it comes to performances, we want to make sure that we can incorporate all the love so everybody's looking at the stage. Even if you're online to get some food, please support. So, you know, one thing about live music is it creates an energy, right? Is that right? Yeah. Live music can create a, a beautiful frequency for the people. And so what we want to do is we want to bring up Cleo, the comrade, to perform for us today. And then we're going to get back to some more speakers. Keep pushing. Is that right? Sound good? Free them all? Free them all? All right, all right, all right. Give it up, y'all. Give all the light and the love, y'all, for Cleo, y'all. Yeah. So this is a song about the solidarity of the Roma people of Spain with uh, Mumia Abu Jamal, um, how I went to Spain and I met all these Gitanos and they're like, free Mumia Abu Jamal, and they had these murals everywhere. March 31 of the year 2023, another day of hellfire. Yeah. 
tree. Free Mumia, he cannot will dance to see. Mumia, free. Gypsies say, why do you spit on me? Because I'm gypsy and my skin is brown. You think you can run me out of town? We dance before Mumia's face of skin and bone. Because in his spiked eyes, we see our own. I saw the run on the wall. It said, free Mumia Bujma. Again, y'all, for Cleo, y'all. Give it up, 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 give it up. Show some love, show some love. Show some love, show some love. We're gonna bring up our next speaker, and um, some of y'all in the room here, in space here today, has have heard him speak before, and uh, have heard his 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 wisdom, but more importantly, his fire and his passion. Uh, by Mumia Abu Jamal, all political prisoners. And usually when I say his name, people say, What? Who's here? Who's here today? Wait a minute, hold up. But I was talking to Raza Khan yesterday. I said, Raza Khan, I said, Brother Clarence Thomas is in the house. And we had a joke because some folks think it's a different Clarence Thomas, if you know what I'm talking about. But if you've heard this brother speak, and we, and we appreciate his love and for coming all the way from Phoenix, Arizona to be with us today. Give it up, y'all, for uh, your brother and mine, Brother Clarence Thomas, y'all. Yeah. Solidarity greetings, sisters and brothers and friends and comrades. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you today. This is such a wonderful space. Let's give it up for the comrade who just finished singing. Wasn't she wonderful? For those of you who may not be familiar with who I am, I'm the other Clarence Thomas. My wife says the real one. But I'm a third generation longshore worker from the International Longshore and Warehouse Union Local 10 in San Francisco the most radical union in the United States, if not the world. I bring you solidarity greetings from my ILWU Local 10 rank and file members. Happy birthday to Brother Mumia Abu-Jamal. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Brother Mumia Abu Jamal. I just wanted to read something to you. This is from Brother Mumia Abu Jamal, and it's dated October 5th, 2021. Abu Jamal, ID number AM8335, Pennsylvania Department of Corrections, from Mumia Abu Jamal. Dear Brother Trent, that was the president of ILW Local 10. I want to thank you for your stalwart and massive work in 1999 to thwart the state's attempt to destroy me. Your work since then to give voice to the dam has been nothing short of noble and just. I thank you and your brethren in the ILWU for standing and fighting for life, for justice and for freedom. 
When workers unite, the earth trembles and the heavens shake. I and my family thank you, Mumia Abu Jamal, Life Row. Let me just say one thing about ILWU and longshore workers. The shoes that you're wearing on your feet, the computers you have at home, your cell phones, the cars you drive, the food you eat, all comes off of a ship. And it is longshore workers that do that work. In 1999, all 29 ports on the West Coast were shut down for Mumia Abu Jamal to halt the execution of that brother. But it didn't stop there. Just recently, on February 16th, we shut down all five Bay Area ports calling for freedom for Mumia Abu Jamal. Could you imagine if the same action would have been taken by the International Brotherhood of Teamsters? Longshore workers on the East Coast, the ILA, SCIU, all the unions all across the nation because that's what it's going to take to bring Mumia home. Let me just say one thing about the importance of our taking action at the point of production. What that means is when we stop working. Because when longshore workers don't work, we impact not only shipping, but also the rail services, the trucking services, air cargo, it's all disrupted. These actions on the part of the ILWU Local 10 Art Radical, they're revolutionary actions. They're revolutionary actors. And I'm not talking about armchair revolution. I'm talking about real action. Because that's the only power that the working class has. If the working class is to be heard, then labor has to shut it down. That's how we got the eight-hour workday. That's how we got weekends. That's how we got benefits for workers. All of that took place by workers standing up. I want to just talk a little bit about my own experience here because Mumia's struggle means something very personal to me. Because I, like countless others in the 1960s, had my political and social consciousness raised by the Black Liberation Movement. People like H. Rap Brown, you know who he is. Stokely Carmichael, Huey P. Newton, Max Stanford, Bobby Seale. These are just some of those that were responsible for raising the political consciousness of young people like myself at that time, including Mumia Abu-Jamal. I feel a special kinship to that brother because I was also in the Black Panther Party. And as my grandmother would say, there for the grace of God go you, Clarence. You could have been the one that was framed up. You could have been one of the ones that were assassinated by the police. I was very, very fortunate. And I feel an obligation to that brother and all political prisoners. We have an obligation. People say, well, why should labor support Mumia Abu-Jamal? The answer to that question is because Mumia Abu-Jamal supports labor, organized and unorganized. I remember back in 1998 when ABC was having a, a, a dispute, labor dispute, there was a strike going on, and 2020, wanted to interview Mumia. He said, I can't allow you to interview, interview me until your labor dispute is settled. To do anything other than that would be like me crossing the picket line. Workers remember that. That shows real consciousness. Mumia has taken positions on the, uh, 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 with respect to the working class all of these numbers of years that he's been locked up in that dungeon. Can you imagine that? 
Here is a man who's been faced with death 24 hours a day, but yet he's concerned about the workers. He's also a union man himself. He belonged to the National Writers Union. He's a card-carrying member. But there's another reason why we should support him. Our union was founded by a man by the name of Harry Bridges. And he was a radical who was put up on trial four times by the United States government for being a red. He was framed up, and the rank and file stood behind him. We also made the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. an honorary member of our local six months before his assassination. And just a couple of years ago, we made Sister Angela Davis an honorary member of ILW Local 10. When she was locked up, facing death, we stood up for her, held rallies, passed resolutions on her behalf. We know how the United States government and the racist judicial system moves against those that are they call radical, we call revolutionary speaking in the interest of the oppressed, be they at home or abroad. It's very important. We understand those lessons very, very well as the ILWU. We have been in the vanguard of supporting Mumia Abu Jamal because we understand that his being released is critical for the struggle and the emancipation of the working class and the oppressed all over the world. Just a little over two months ago, ILW Local 10 sent a delegation of 14 members to go to South Africa. We were invited there for the purpose of commemorating the 50th anniversary of the uprising of black workers in South Africa against apartheid. We were given specific instructions by the executive board of Local 10 to reach out to the largest industrial union in South Africa, NUNSA, otherwise known as the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, the largest union in South Africa. Our delegation met with Irvin Jim who is the general secretary of that union. And we appeal to him to not only make a statement and send a letter to Judge Lucretia Clemens, but to also take an action at the U.S. Embassy in Pretoria. He put out a very powerful statement. And that statement was so powerful because he drew a connection between the way that South African freedom fighters have been treated in South Africa and how Mumia Abu-Jabal is being treated in the United States of America. He also made good on the promise to do an action at the U.S. Embassy in Pretoria. That happened. International solidarity is not an empty slogan. We had actions to follow that as well. In Tokyo, Japan, Dorachiba workers did the same thing. Also, the International Trans Transport Federation did the same thing, representing some 2 million, 20 million workers all over the world, as well as Unite in the UK. This is real solidarity action. And I know many of you in this audience, like myself, were very disappointed in the action of Judge Clemens. But upon further investigation about her background, coming from a corporate law firm, it should not have been a surprise. We cannot depend on the courts. We are going to have to depend on ourselves. And in conclusion, I would like to say this. This is a slogan that's been associated with our union that comes from the Wadley, the international workers of the world. And it goes like this. An injury to one is an injury to all. Let's say it three times. An injury to one is an injury to all. An injury to one 
is an injury to all. An injury to one is an injury to all. Free Mumia Abu Jamal. Free them all. Thank you so much. What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? That's right. We're going to free Mumia Abu Jamal and all political prisoners. Again, we want to thank all the speakers and performers who've been on today. Um, I want to bring on actually my comrade because one of the things that we're doing on May the 5th, you know, Matu Shakur is home, y'all. Is that right? Hold up. I don't hear y'all. Matu Shakur is home. Is that right? We brought Dr. Matu Shakur home. When everybody said that he couldn't come home, we brought him home. Is that right? And so now we understand the importance of being able to bring home these political prisoners to our family. And uh, this work is so important. And so as solidarity work gets done across the world, we're going to be holding an event here in Philadelphia as well, because it's important to do such. Pam, turn around. <laughs> I got to make that connection for you. But I want to bring up our next speaker, y'all, who's talking about a program happening actually on May the 5th in support of uh, Dr. Motu Shakur here in Philadelphia. Um, my brother and yours once again, Brother Razakhan, y'all. Give it up for him, y'all. Brother Razakhan. Nation time, let's go. Nation time. Nation time, brother. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all. And I want y'all to know that Nation Time came from Herman and Eleanor Ferguson. Uh, they honored me by allowing me to use their name to keep the work that we were doing going. But uh, some sad news I want to say before I say about uh, Matula, we lost a mighty warrior, one of my teachers, the magnificent Alton Maddox. We just found out that he passed. Yeah. And every time you watch uh, Al Sharpton on television, Alton Maddox was the lawyer that beat eight counts of uh, 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 corruption, whatever it was they were trying to put on Alton, I mean, put on Sharpton, he beat it and then turned around and uh, uh, double cross Alton Maddox so he loses his life and could never practice again. But those are the kind of people we be dealing with. Yeah, we have an, uh, uh, and then let me say something else, because uh, uh, generally uh, 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 the, the regular public news people is just as bad as Fox or the rest of them, because they want to make us believe that there's nothing we can do about what's going on. You know what I mean? Uh, what would happen tomorrow if Alabama said that we no longer recognize the 13th Amendment? All black people got to turn their shit in and go back to the plantation. That's what's going on now. Because they're talking about states' rights. There's no such... The, the, uh, the, uh, uh, supremacy clause in the Constitution. The Constitution is greater than the Supreme Court, the Congress, and anybody else. No, Congress makes the laws. And what the Supreme Court is supposed to do is figure out what was Congress' intent. What evil was Congress trying to remove from whatever law that they was uh, they, they trying to correct and make it right. That's not what happened. There's no such thing as states' right. What, uh, and they talk about, oh, I'm getting up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh, because uh, they're trying to make you believe that uh, what Congress, uh, 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 okay, they're trying to make you believe that uh, oh, Trump is, is trying to win. Uh, how can he win with the things that he do? He's not trying to win. What Trump wants is civil war. They've been doing it, and, 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 and they haven't stopped since they lost the war, and it's still going on. But we got Democrats, and when y'all start talking about Clarence Thomas, remember this: it was Joe Biden and eleven Democrats that put Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court. Check it out. Don't take my word for nothing. They dog Anita Hill. You got all these women talking about uh, 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 women's rights. Where was her rights? You know what I mean? And she had evidence. It was all Inspector 
and Joe Biden, all the spectrum was the senator from Pennsylvania. So that's why we know what happened. You know what I mean? And they wouldn't say nothing. And then they don't talk about now, they talk about St. Clair's done St. Clair's Thomas and his wife to jail. And ain't no such thing as nobody is above the law. That's what makes America supposed to be great. But a lot of people tell me, uh, con I mean, the, the Constitution wasn't made for me. And it wasn't. But when they added the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, they included me. And I act like this shit belonged to me. That's why I don't lose no cases when I go to court. Because I make them follow the law. That's what we have to do everywhere we go. Yeah, we having a uh, May the fifth. We having a fundraiser for Matula Shakur. Please come. If you can't come, send some. We, you know, I mean, just send some money because they need it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. So Rasa Khan has fly is up here by the table as well. So please support, please support, please support Matula Shakur, who just came home this past year. We've had a lot of victories this past year, family. Is that right? So that, that should give us more of a fight and a fire to keep knowing that we're gonna bring Mumia home. You know, we're gonna erase words like perhaps out of our vocabulary. We're gonna erase words like if out of our vocabulary. We're gonna erase words like maybe out of our vocabulary. And we just gonna say when he comes home, is that right? We gonna use permanent words, is that right? We gonna say when he comes home. Okay, not if he comes home, not perhaps if he comes home, not maybe he'll come home. No, we're saying, damn it, when he comes home, we all gonna be free. Right or wrong? So, once again, before I bring up our next speaker, once again, I'm gonna keep saying, please support the vendors if you can. Please, in fact, show me, you know what? Hey, Brother Gabe, I got a free ant shirt, that's love. I learned the story of Ant Smith here in Philadelphia. Get that ant. Smith, free ant shirt, please. Get in the back, go, please go get that book by Mumia Abu Jamal. We have several of his books right there waiting for you to pick up right now to make that purchase and to get some t-shirts, right? It's starting to get warm out here, y'all. Ain't nothing better than getting a t-shirt right now for the weather. With that being said, we're gonna bring up, uh, again, uh, another brother who's just been on fire for us, but uh, this brother here, you know, from New Jersey, all around the world, it's saying free all political prisoners. Give it up, y'all, for Bab uh, Baba Zaid, y'all. Baba Zaid, give it up, give it up, give it up. Make some noise. Show them your love and your light. Baba Zaid, bring the fire, brother. Happy birthday, Mumia Abu Jamal. What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? Brick by brick, we gonna free. Brick by brick, we gon' free. Brick by brick, we gon' free. By any means necessary. On uh, behalf of the Malcolm X Commemoration Committee, on behalf of so many who are not here because of the hell we need to raise to get them home, I'm very humbled just to be asked to share this space, even though we've been throwing rocks together for over 30 goddamn years at this no good rotten ass system. And we're gonna keep throwing rocks until we bring it all the way down, right? But before I say anything, I wanna just stop. And I want everybody to stop, especially those of y'all who are not from Philly, and appreciate where the hell we're at and what the fuck is going on with this beautiful expression of community-based cooperative work and self-determination. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this liberated space. Look at this Africanized space. Look at this self-sufficient feeding space. Right? Look at this space that people that look like us are sharing and have made together without no crackers for mention, no how, nowhere. Bear witness to what you can do. What you can do. Unity, solidarity, social, there ain't no goddamn empty slogans. It's what it is we're trying to fight for. It's what it is we're trying to become. It's what it is we're trying to put in place. We want to get rid of racism, capitalism, and all that mess. 
This is what we're going to replace it with. Huh? This is what we're going to... Don't lose on the kick. Well, keep on your eyes, as the old song said, on the prize. I am so proud of the family of co cooperation that came together and have clearly had to stay together and held on to their vision to create a space like this for you and me, us, right? So give them a serious round of applause. And for all of uh, we talk about this whole question of political, oh, all the motherfuckers from back in the 60s and 70s, that's fucked up shit. Yeah, but it ain't just about the 60s and the 70s. Young heads talked to Gia, shot 57 fucking times in so-called cop city. Sanction. This Lucretia Clemens ain't the only house Negro that's creating problems. Sanctioned by elected Negroes all through Atlanta. Cop City, $90 million to take down greenery and to create a, a institution, a university to train pigs to break up and put down mighty protests like our kids gave us in the summer of 2020, the largest protest summer in this country in the aftermath of George Floyd. Yeah. Yeah. We got some, we got some, on the question of class, family, we got some Negroes who are asses we got to turn it up on. Oh yes! The Uhuru movement. My, my brothers and sisters from the Uhuru movement are a lot of things but they are not electing election interventionists. <laughs> they have spaces like this in St. Petersburg and in St. Louis, intergenerationally, under the leadership and stewardship of a long distance runner named Omala Yeshitelli. There's no way in hell we're going to let them lock up Omala Yeshitelli in his fucking 80s? Are you crazy? And then when I walked in, I saw this young man. And raise your hand, son. We love the fuck out of you, boy. Huh? Let us see. This the stuff that happened then. Do not think it is not happening now. We cannot allow it. We can we cannot retreat or allow us being pushed back one step any further. We're trying to free our comrades from the 60s and 70s. We don't want no new political prisoners. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I ain't telling nobody to put down and sell their goddamn guns. I said unless it's absolutely necessary. And if there are times when it is absolutely necessary, guess what? Have your shit ready, right? And act like it's absolutely necessary. Under those circumstances, we may have, we, I, I, I don't mind us losing a few as long as we lose some on the other side. Oh yeah. You gonna fight? God damn it, fight to win. Let us build on the fact that we got Matulu out. This gathering that we're getting ready to do for him, you don't come out of the clutches of the state with a pension or insurance or an inheritance. My big ass mouth just blew out the damn microphone, right? You come up with a lot of pain, a lot of scars, and a lot of needs. And when our freedom fighters come home, we have to embrace them like this and be as generous and sacrificial as we can to help them in their twilight, as generous as they were giving their very lives for some of all of us to walk these goddamn streets in this racist ass country with our heads tall and unapologetic about who the hell we are and what the hell we want, what the hell we entitled to, and what the hell we got the right to do, right? 
So if we got to build on the victory from Matuba Shakur. We got marooned back the bold, brave, parole straight out of these streets. The mighty, implacable maroon had crackers and pigs peeing in their pants for decades. Oh, yes. We brought him home in time so he could be received with the grace and love of babies. And some of them are here. Teresa, where you at, baby? I know you're here, right? Teresa, Russell, and Sharon, and, and you got more kids than that. Them the ones that we ride with. <laughs> Right? And all of us who he gave his life for. My, bro my big brother, Razakhan, was just talking about the Constitution. Let us remember that it was in 1970, in this town, the mighty Black Panther Party, on the heels of the year before, calling for a national united front against fascism. Sound familiar, y'all? On the heels of that, called for a revolutionary constitutional convention hell right here in Philly. And the late Frank Risso, may he rest in piss. That's where he belongs. He probably there already in his nasty ass. Sick Philadelphia pigs on the Black Panther Party's Philadelphia chapter in the effort to make sure that that convention did not happen. But when you refuse to give up, when you stand firm, Blew the mic out again. When you refuse to give up, when you stand firm on your principles, when you dare to struggle and dare to win, when you organize when it's time to organize, mobilize when it's time to organize, mobilize, agitate when it's time to agitate, and bang, it's time to bang, you're going to be able to do some things whether they like it or not. And that convention happened. And what if, in this crazy, up south fascist leaning time. A collective of folks, broader than the collective of folks that tried to pull that constitutional convention back in 70, did the same thing again. What if another collection of folks that looks something like y'all, mixed up with some of everything, right? Pulled together again and called for a united front against fascism and, and get ourselves ready to bang on these crazy ass Trumpites and and what's the little cracker in, in, in Florida, DeSantis, and all these other, you know, and Clarence Thomas. I would, every time we talk about our Clarence Thomas, we say, brother, what are we going to give you an African name? <laughs> we won't know confusion about our Clarence Thomas and their Clarence Thomas. Brothers, sisters, comrades, friends, and enemies, when we fight, we fight to win. We build. We're building the have and the be, right? And the do and to create those spaces. Because we got some young folks and I'm loving the hell out of them. I see y'all, right? Y'all the only future we have, right? And we, we're not going to lose an aim. Huh? A teacher. Huh? We need to multiply ants. You know, can you remember what Khaled used to say? God damn it, we don't die, we multiply. We need to multiply some ants. Get your hands off our son and our grandson, goddammit, or we'll shut you the fuck down. That's what time it is. We love you, son. Right? So we say build the future we need, be the healing we need, be the united front we leave, practice the socialism and the democracy we need and do without any goddamn apology because we are the future of this very earth. It is up to us to save it, live it, grow it, and be it, and let's do it by any means necessary. Oh, power to the people. 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 What's the call? 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 Brick by brick, we gon' free. Brick by brick, we gon' free. Abu Jamal by any goddamn means necessary. Love and respect, y'all. We'll see you in the world. Give it up, y'all, again for Baba Zaid, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fire, fire, fire for real.
And I want to, and I want to, you know, emphasize one thing that he said. We are in a beautiful oasis of a space here in West Philadelphia, y'all. I love it when people who are new to the space come here and they're like, "What? This was here all this time, all this land, and it's right about black folks. What?" And so, if you haven't been before, I've been to concerts here. I've been to events here. You name the artists, I've seen them here in this space. And I've been to plenty of events here through the years. And more, most importantly, uh, the fan here are staunch, and I, I do say staunch, staunch supporters of Mumi Abu Jamal and all political prisoners. So thanks again, y'all, for the family here at the One Art Center, y'all. Once again, once again, give it up for them, y'all. Give it up for them. Always, the Bridgen's always here, the Queen's always in the back. You might see some animals walking around, maybe some chickens, some, some horses out back. Feel free to walk to the back if you want to see some of the farmland, you can, you can see that. Um, but once again, we have some food, we got the vendors. We're gonna take a small, small break because our next artist is gonna set up his uh, stuff here. And so, small break for our artists to get set up, and then we're gonna uh, get ready to end. Sound good? Everybody good? Sun is shining on us, right? Yeah. All right, y'all, we're going to get moving. Again, feel free to celebrate, dance, again, meet somebody new, talk to somebody new, exchange information, exchange IGs, all that kind of good stuff. Say this poem to her, and then she put me on stage, so I'll share with more of you. Um, but I, this came to me when I was in Mexico City a couple summers back, and they were painting like a beautiful mural of Mumia in Mexico City. I think some of you remember that. And I know today there's actions happening in Mexico City and also in Oaxaca, Mexico. So there's really, the whole globe is rising and sending Mumia freedom, freedom, freedom. So, okay, here's the piece for you, Pam. Okay. Dear Mumia, your mind, heart, and spirit are free, but your body's still shackled into slavery. I know you really hold me up, and I'm right and waiting for the revolution to rev up. I think about you every day, your mind, heart, and truth in what you say. Our political and spiritual warrior, thank you for building us into freedom-fighting soldiers. Sometimes I don't think that we're radical enough. I dream of busting down those walls and giving you a hug. Dear Moo, I know you'll be home real soon. We'll keep writing these tunes and staying on a move. On a move, y'all. Thank you. Free them all. Give it up again, y'all, for Antonio, y'all from Jericho, Boston. You already know. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. And in the spirit of the same energy, everybody say, "New World, New World. Warrior. Warrior. New World, New World. Warrior. Warrior. New World, New World. Warrior. Warrior. Warrior." About to bring up my elder, y'all, to do, to do a piece for y'all. All right, give up some, show some love, y'all. Okay, family. You know it don't bother me that y'all don't y'all don't know that I love you. What pisses me off is you probably have absolutely no idea how much. <laughs> it's just a fact. What's the call? What's the call? Yes, sir. I want to share with you all first my New Year's resolution, but it was so good I had to break it out six months early. So I'm gonna share it with y'all. The first part is if you love them, tell them the truth. Is that okay? Yeah. Second part, if you ain't proud of it, damn it, don't do it. Feel me? This is all I'm trying to say. This is what we got to do. We got to show them who we are. These fools act like they don't know. They going to learn today. Now, the last part, I need you to hold up one like this. Come on. Now, every time I say a word, I want you to raise one finger. Do more than you say. Now, look at your palm. If there's blood on your hands, damn it, I ain't talking to you. If there's no blood on your hands, I need you to understand, this is the tool slash weapon we're going to use to change this ugly ass world for the last damn time forever. And guess what? You got two. We got a whole lot of work to do, y'all. Now, let me do this song for you because everybody knows it. I know you do. I just want you to feel it this time. You've heard it before because Sam knew exactly what the hell he was doing when he said, I was born. By the river right. in a little tent. Oh, just like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming. 
But I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Then I'll go to my brother. I say, brother, help me, please. But you wind up knocking me back down on my knee. Whoa, whoa. there have been The book of we might have made it through. We could have lasted long, but now I know we're able to carry on. It's been a long, long. That's a black long, don't act like you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. A long time coming, but I know change gon' come. Oh, yes, it will. Free for me, I'll go tomorrow. Love you all. Give it up again for New World Warrior, y'all. That came right on time, didn't it? That came right on time. <laughs> so that being said, family, um, I want to thank everybody for being here again. Um, again, please go to the vendors. See somebody new that you haven't met before. Exchange your number, exchange your email, exchange your Instagram. Let them know that you're here in Philadelphia today at One Art to organize, mobilize, and strategize to free Mumi Abu Jamal. We're here because we know that right now we are at a right time, a right time and the right time to free Mumi Abu Jamal, to bring in all organizations, to bring in all new coalitions, and to bring in all new spaces, block to block, neighborhood to neighborhood, house to house. We're gonna organize until we bring them home. Is that right? Is that right, family? Can we do it? Will we do it? Will we do it? Will we do it? That's right, that's right. What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? Free them all, y'all. And when we say all, we don't say free some, do we? We don't say free a few, do we? We don't say free one, do we? No, we say free them all. So what's the call? What's the call? That's right, that's right, that's right. With that being said, we're gonna bring up our brother to perform on the mic, rock the mic real quick on the stage. Give it up, yes, my brother, Spirit Child, y'all. Get up, Spirit Child, y'all. Okay, I'll just get right into it. Peace for the people, I love you. And um, the vibration's gonna be some music because everything that was said, we all know what was said and has been said. Extend me, ignore, comprehend me, leave me alone, let these walls offend me. I've been in with a clone, so no task offend me. Upgraded the phone from the mic to semi. Whoa, whoa, hold on, send me. Lock with these tones, like in bones are funny. I need a blue steel that won't shield when empty. I need a raw steel that won't peel when tempted. I admit, I am not the one to call cause the downtown don't exist. I admit, I'm the one they still call smoke signals to gorillas in the mist. I admit, I will not fall off or off, I will still resist. I admit, when all y'all come from, my revolution exists. Back to this, resist, pump up your fist. This is for blackness, color of abyss. This is for attacking our homes and kids. 
This is for attacking our homes and kids. This is for black, blue, gold across the globe, connecting roles to better our souls. And if we don't gain control in the process, we progress and gain our lows. Rise up. I'm gone. I'm gone. So gone. It's a bunch of mama, so. Hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ha ha. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ha ha. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ha ha. So bunch of mamas, you. Bunch of mamas, me. Bunch of mamas, we. Bunch of mamas, liberation, resistance, freeing our political prisoners, taking care of each other. And I'd be remiss if we don't bring it back to the beginning. We did libations. And every time I come to Philly, especially from here on now, we have to say Ibaye Ashe, Russell Maroon Schultz. We freeing all political prisoners before they gone too soon. And understand what they have done, but also what they can do. We're working with Dilcia Pagan and Luisa Puerto Rica and the Maroon community people who have been free for over 20 years still organizing that's why they keep them inside organizing realizing actualizing that's why we still have to ride 69 years happy birthday 69 years gotta give it to the system in the worst way because they're taking away our people they're taking away our life our liberty our hope but we know that it's not taken away the energy is here. It's always here. You are here. You are frequency of vibration. You are the beat of the drum, the sounding, the sound along, the reason why they run, 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 run. And like Maroons, we will run away from this plantation, build a new nation within their nation. That is something that we have to do. It is inherited us. It is inherent of you to keep organizing, keep mobilizing, keep fantasizing, keep realizing, keep imagination true to the times, keep imagination true to the times, keep imagination true to the times. Because imagination is what liberated Asada. Imagination is what liberated Asada. Imagination, liberation is what liberated Asada. We had tactics that they couldn't comprehend. Maroon was free several times before he was locked back in. Mumia, when he comes home, when he comes home, cause he will be home, we'll be singing love songs, revolutionary love poems, rocking to that real ill, ill, ill matic like um Nas was on, like uh Biggie was on, like uh Tupac was rocking his poems. And we saying free all political prisons, it's not just a slogan, it's a way of life like hip hop. Hip hop is in your blood, it's in your genetics. Liberation is in your blood and your genetics. This is what we do. The system is pathetic. We can't forget it. We cannot forget it. We cannot forget it. We are rising, rising, rising. And that revolutionary freestyle was for you, you and yours, and the seeds that's within you, the ones that have not come out yet. Because it is springtime, it is now time, it is freedom time to plant those seeds and let them sprout a revolution. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got a few more for y'all, just kind of freestyling and vibing. If that's okay, are y'all feeling good? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the next one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one. Yeah. Oh, Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Okay. So we wrote this for Maroon and all Maroons. <sighs> Gatorade. Okay. What up, Teresa? Hold oh, on. What they say? Run away, get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We maroons, yeah. We maroon. Oh no, what they say? Run away, we can't wait. We maroons, yeah. Tell the system, fuck them, we maroons, yeah. That means we're not bow down. We'll have no treaties. We will not compromise. Because they did this. 
Pick up the whip and they lash Cutting they flesh when they savage Mutant little links Living savage I will not be wearing they badges Oh no Not this day Can't wait So defund is what they gon' say Say it from the police didn't you know the fun is not free? Community control of the fucking police. Now we talking. 1966 Black Panthers been walking from a crip to a crip. Ch -ch -ch talking. I ain't slip. I ain't chips. Still hawking. Till liberation come, I'll be with a drum. Ch -ch -ch talking. Till they sit the cook cook coffin. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna Cochrane. I don't need a black man, Johnson. I don't want no black fire, fucking liars. Why is black Johnson? Why are blacks Johnson, judges? White supremacy ain't adopted. Oh no, this day, run away. We must say, 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 we maroons, yeah. Everybody, we maroons, yeah. Oh no, not this day. They can't take, take us away, way, way. We maroons, yeah. Come on, we maroons, yeah. Set free the mob. Set free the mob. Set free the mob. Set free the mob. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. May the sounds come to ya. May the sounds come to ya. Oh no, what they say? Run away, go get away, way, way. We maroons. Yep, yep, we maroons. I got like two quick more for y'all if that's okay. Is that cool? All right, good. So we're gonna put a vibration. All right, cool. So, you know, um, Mama C was here not too long ago, and one thing that I learned from Mama C, she says, don't ever let them kill your joy. So we got to have some joy in the revolution because we need that vibration in the revolution. We need some stimulation, so we got to keep it going. So y'all might know the vibe, so, you know. Next I feel like your bow tie. Give the system the tightest fight to tell what it's here in this life. Revolution of media, don't be slow if you need media. Lock and load and control, and for the science, so let like it smite. Well, alright, make a man them a feel like a maroon maroon. Woman them a feel like a maroon maroon. Youth them a feel like a maroon maroon. Black like hell, black when the business what you know. Them out of control, with the media lies it's unfold. When the few bad men that are worth the plan Fight the system of all of your soul Revolution on phone, yeah Don't you feel like you're bota? Give the system the tightest Fight to tell me the tea in its life Revolution on media Don't be slow if you need ya Lock and load and control on for the science soul of this mind Well alright They try and tell me I ain't fit for that they schools, they rules, I ain't fit for that That's true, I'm a rune, I'm not aristocrat I ain't a coon, I'm a rune, there's no risk in that nah. Leave the plantation, I'm not a problem I'm a solution like the Haitian Revolution Sing it, Safa said, not rule Set fire to the oppression, no la rule I see the media preach Well I'm a tired too, so the youth them can't reach Better yet we train youth to think So they can see what you pour and choose not to drink It's life is but a blink but what matters my sacrifice? Rocks I sling, pure rocks I sling Like slingshot hip-hop rocks to them slave pants Freedom from prison And I ain't talking about that white dope I'm talking about a new black boss moving the stereo Left, right, discipline, the scenario Break them up, Harlem, give them the bum bum PX to Philly, give them the bum bum Queens on next, my Southeast Asia A new rule coming through out of the Staten let it spread, don't trust the system Whatever they want, you give them none Twice, let it spread, don't trust the system Whatever they want Whatever they want Revolution on phone, yeah Don't you feel like you're both uh, Give the system the tightest fight It's ever to see in its life Revolution on media Don't be slow if you need media 
lock and load and control on for the science so that it's like but all right when come on them will feel like a maroon maroon woman them will feel like a maroon maroon youth them will feel like a maroon maroon black the kill black when the business what you know the amounts of control with the media lies it's unfold but if you're a bad man, then I work the plan. Fight the system with all of your soul. Revolution and form, yeah. Don't you feel like you're bored to give the system the tight despite the terminity in its life? Revolution and media. Don't be slow for the media. Lock and load and control. I'm for the science, so that it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Lead better, lead better, lead better. Lead beta, we say lead beta, lead beta, lead beta, lead beta. We want freedom, freedom. We want freedom, freedom. We want freedom, freedom. We want freedom, freedom. Uh -uh. Happy birthday, Mumia Abu Jamal. I got one last quick one for Sasha Call, and of course I don't wrap up on liberation vibration for myself as a. Oh yes, okay, cool. Pick up Jericho. <laughs> Big up the Mumia Coalition, Free Kamal Siddiqui. Old school with the beginning of rap, X that, mark the beginning of boom back, from back, Africa black. Red, black, and green, get a black fact. Hit them off and I'm breaking them off, shaking them off, taking them off like the cough. <laughs> Gotta get him off, gotta get him up to rush and to swap that boss Anyway, I'm looking for my getaway, better days appear to be right away And I'm ready for this, the black fist may catalyst for the resistance Instance, in this moment in time, moment to sit, moment to rhyme, moment to spit Hold this time, hold it twist, ah, it's your eye When you fight, I fight, you die, I die, ah, it's your eye When you live to live, I live to live, rise, ah, it's your eye When you fight, I fight, you die, I die, ah, it's your eye When you live I'm that black power freedom fighter African that loves a cider Organizer, ready rider Liberation springs inside of me, me, see, see, I'm on fire For the people never tired, forever live Until I die, get them high until we all free Free, free, break them chains, get free Free, free, break our chains, get free Free, free, break those chains, get free Free, free, um can't debate the human race disease. The mother earth, how much more can you take? Before the earth breaks and the sun don't set. Between you and I, she's quite upset. No regrets, but it's part of mess. You got the ozone full dorm and did it explode. Coach your soul to the little down low. My space, your space, that will be left alone. Your face done grown, the cell phone, your soul gets cloned and I phone. Robot, your clock, the bigger, the bigger, the bigger that. I won't stop hip hop. But I feel that hip hop stop before I punch the clock. I won't drop, keep the planet rock. I'm in it like granite to rock to the pyramids. Yep, yep, there it is. Keep feeling this. See, we go. It's your eye. When you fight, I fight, you die. I die, ah, it's your eye When you live to live, I live to live, rise Ah, it's your eye When you fight, I fight, you die, I die Ah, it's your eye When you live free, eh I'm that black power, freedom fighter African that loves a cider Organizer, ready rider Liberation screams inside of me See, I'm on fire For the people, never tired of forever alive Until I die, get them high Until we are free, free, free Break those chains, get free, free Free, break those chains, get free, 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 break those chains, get free, 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 yep, 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 yep. Stay marooning, stay tuning, stay doing what you gotta do to fuck this system up. I love y'all. Peace for the people in the place to be. <laughs> Give it up again for spirit child, y'all. Spirit child, spirit child, spirit child. Let's go. All right, all right, everybody all right? So what we want to do is we want to do a couple things, y'all. So we're going to give some final announcements before we get about it here. So a couple things to remember. One is May the 5th, right? May the 5th, we're going to be at the Rotunda at 40th and Walnut, 4014, 4014 Walnut Street, right? So we want to be there for the fundraiser for Dr. Mutu Shakur. 
We want to thank our food. Thank you, Atiyah, all this for being here. Thank you, Mama Atiyah, all this in the family. Thank you, little Atiyah. Thank you for everybody for providing some of the food today. Thanks everybody for providing the waters. Please, again, I see people still buying shirts, which is good. But a couple things, right? So we know that the judge put down their, uh, you know, dismissal. And right now we're working with the legal team to assure ourselves that we can come back even stronger as a movement. We want to make sure that we can come back even more powerful as a movement. So you'll continue to get information over the emails and over the Zoom meetings about next steps. But let's put it like this. This summer is going to be on fire, family. Is that right? I'm going to say it. This summer, we're going to be on fire. So a couple things before we close, too. I want to thank everybody who provided a well-wished happy birthday card. You still have time to. I see about 15 cards over there. I would love to have more. So if you haven't made a card yet, we're making birthday cards for Mumia Abu Jamal. We have colored markers, we have pens, and we have paper. Make your own message. We're going to collect them all and get them all over and send them in a package to Mumia so that he can see it for his birthday. Is that right? That's right. Use your artistic, you know, use your creativity, use your art, use your imagination. Just take out a piece of paper, fold it over, write a nice message for it. Use the colors. We have markers. We have pens. Once you're done with it, put it under the uh, whole package. And we're going to send the whole package out to see uh, Mumia Booth Mall. Uh, once again, also, I want to thank everybody for coming out because it's really been a blessing to see so many different people out here from so many different cities. And you know, people come out when they can, but they come out because it's so important to come out when you can. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I also want to thank those who travel from New York City because I know that they got to get on a bus soon. I see Gil in the back. And so we're going to make sure that before Gil has to take the NY team back and they're going to start walking away soon, I actually want to see if I can do First of all, I want to thank our independent media. So I want to thank Hate Five Six, y'all. Give it up for Hate Five Six, always in the building, shout to Sonny. And hey, we want to thank our family with People's Org for Progress. Jersey's always in the building doing the independent media. You already know what it is, right? So with that being said, I want to give a final message to a brother who was just able to, uh, to enter. I know that he had to do some things today, but I want to bring up our final speaker. I want to bring up our final speaker, and I do mean the final speaker as he's giving his hugs and his fists out. I want to give our final speaker, y'all. Folks, y'all know what's coming up on, on May 13th, right? What's May 13th? What's May 13th, y'all? The move bombing, right? 85, right? And so it's very, very important that we understand the connection of this to Mumia Abu Jamal and what this has always meant for our movement. So as you begin to get your final food, your final award, your final vending, I want to bring up our good brother, Mike Africa Jr., y'all. He's in the building, y'all. Give it up, Mike Africa Jr., y'all. I know you want to do your hugs, brother. Come on, Mike. You walk in right to the mic, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> and then we're going to close up shop. Thank you. Oh man, what's up y'all? Yeah. Please apologize my tardiness. That's right, say that again. I'm nervous y'all, I'm nervous. It's been a long time since I've been on the microphone. What? Damn, oh I appreciate the love y'all, damn. Oh, man. What you want to know? <laughs> y'all y'all making me feel, uh... Oh, I could talk a lot about this right now, system. Um, thank you, Gabe. And thank all y'all for showing up. And thank me for showing up, too. I'm here. Um... So Gabe mentioned May 13th. All right. Come on. Stop. That's right. 
because the government dropped the bomb. And they killed 11 people. Five of them were children. And no government official has ever been charged. Not Wilson Good, not Frank Rizzo, not the police that shot people, shot children as they're trying to escape a burning building. So I could talk about this rotten ass government. We could talk about the injustice all day, all night, and forever. Because we haven't seen justice. It is incredible that the same very system that will drop a bomb and kill people and shoot them as they're trying to escape a burning building and as children's arms are melting, that same system will scream injustice and say Mumia Abu-Jamal is a murderer. We've never seen injustice greater than the one we've seen on May 13th, 1985. The children, five children died that day, but it wasn't just the ending of the life of five children, because we can't forget Birdie Africa either. You know, it's really hard to talk about these things. Because I remember those children. And I remember the adults too. And <clears throat> it's never easy, but it's necessary. So I do it. My New Year's resolution this year was be brave. Be brave. And people said to me, man, you already brave. You already strong. But that's how we keep ourselves going. We push ourselves. If you, if you can do push-ups, just because you can do them don't mean you should stop doing them, right? So we have to push ourselves. And it's uh, an example of people, seeing these people push ourselves to save Free Mumia despite him being in prison for over 40 years. It's, we have to maintain this level of health, this level of strength, this commitment, this dedication, right? And I've seen no one more committed in setting that example than I have my sister Pam. if I said that Mumia would not be alive if it wasn't for Pam. I don't think I would be out of line saying that. I think that, you know, I talked to my dear sister, dear friend, Yane Indigo today. Yane, that's right. Happy birthday, Yane. Happy birthday, Yane. And she said, where you been? And I said, I've been in this mental healing process. A lot's happened in my family over the last two years, three years. And I've been trying to get myself better and strengthening myself and adjusting to this move remains found in the University of Penn Museum. And I've had to take a lot of time for myself to just try to process that information. You can't make this up. And I guess it, it just continues to reaffirm and bring this thing back to this, the injustice, the audacity of the same government that calls Mumia a murderer are the same people that put tree in a museum, right? 
the, the most important thing in all of this is for us to continue this fight for revolution. Every family has issues and problems, and, but man, it is so important to continue to move, continue revolution, because when we're stagnant is when things really go wrong. And as we talk about Pam and how she, in a lot of ways, single-handedly breathed the fight and life into a lot of us yeah. to continue to keep moving. Jeez. Mubia knows it. And I know it, and a lot of, a lot of other people know it. Yeah. We all need to take a page out of her book and allow <laughs> some of her energy to drive us forward. Yeah. Yeah. This May 13th, we're going to have a press conference yeah. at The Marker. It's a very, very important, important one. I can't say too much about it because I'm being recorded and potentially live. And it's important for people to come out to that house for this press conference because I want to share some news with everyone. Another reason why I can't share it is because my right hand, Dr. Crystal Strong, is not here and it wouldn't be right to share this news without her because she's really helped get this done. But I promise you that as we move in this fight to free Mumia, there are a lot of things that are moving, a lot of things that are happening because this is all one fight. It's all one thing. And a lot of Mumia's predicament is because of his support for the MOVE organization. Jeez. So we have to follow in his footsteps because as a person who remembers and saw him support MOVE, it wouldn't be right to turn our backs on him. I have tapes. I have, when well, nobody else would, that's right. And he stood his ground. Yeah. And he was fired from jobs. Yeah. And, he, and he fought. So this coming May 13th, we have something that we want to deliver to the community. It is a major milestone. It is a major, major, major milestone. We have been fighting for a long time and we've reached this milestone and we hope to use this as an opportunity to compel us forward and help to free Mumia. I appreciate the support from everyone. For myself, the love that y'all give me as I'm walking through this thing an hour and a half late. But I promise you it was for a good reason. Oh yeah. We promise it was for, I never stop moving. If you know anything about me, I never stop moving. I can't help it, it's just in there. It's just that you know how everybody was over 420. Oh man, we 420, we 4, we about to hook it up. A lot of people was 420 and 365 days a week of the year before 420 came. And now it's just in there. It's just you can't help it. It's just in there. That's how moving is for me. It's just in there. So I would like for everybody to remember May 13th. Come out. It's a Saturday, 10 o'clock. We're having a press conference and an announcement. Major announcement. It's oh, my cousin. Yeah. That's my cousin, y'all. He, Basim. <laughs> um, I don't really have a lot more to say. Um, today, tomorrow, well, tomorrow is Mumia's birthday. And I hope that he lives to see many, many more. And I appreciate everybody for showing me love like y'all do. That's it. I love y'all back. I love y'all back. Y'all know it too.
I think we're pretty much done here. So before we uh, head out, we want to do just one quick together. We want to have a quick photo. Is everybody here, Joe? Is that right? And so if everybody could just come to the front, y'all, just right here in front so that we can see the backdrop. That would be wonderful. Just one picture, and then we can head out of here. Thank you so much for coming. What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? Thank you so much for coming. If you can just come up here right again again real quick. Before everybody steps out, that would be wonderful. If we could just do one quick picture. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Gabe. It's all good. It's all good. All for the people. You already know. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. If we could all sit up right here for the photo, that would be fantastic. Just real quick. Make your way in the picture, y'all. Pam, I need you in the picture, Pam. I need you in the picture. You can't come up this way. I need you in the picture, Pam. All right. Come on, Pam. Get tight, man. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Oh, sorry. Oh.